Well, how's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Up, and if you're here right now, it's because you are looking for help on the fish tooth hook mission for the elusive era Pima on Maku Maku Lake. And I have to tell you, it is it is heck. It is just heck fire, and I'm gonna be here to uh to guide you through this heck fire. Um, uh, cause it's it's just, it's a wallop. I'm just gonna I'm gonna be completely honest with you, but Hopefully after this video, you'll be a little bit more prepared to wade your way through the fire. So, bag your tackle boxes, hit the like button, and let's get into it, everyone. Welcome. Alrighty, here you are, Maku Maku Lake. You're thinking 10 trophy or unique Biara and 5 unique Payara. How hard could it be? Easy peasy, probably be done with in an hour. Yeah, okay, so we went through two different live streams of this, two hours apiece. Um, and then I spent, uh, I think between 9 a.m. and like 5, 6 p.m. or something like that trying to chase down these fish on a weekend and uh and finally completed it and so i'm going to show you some of the things that i found a little bit more uh helpful i suppose um that you can use for your fishing to get this fish tooth hook so let's dive into it all right so first thing you should know for the unique payara i have a few different spots that i was using during the live streams you saw us catch uh, a few different payara three i want to say it was maybe three payara in these little spots here i'm going to zoom in to show you exactly where they were but yeah right around here unique payara and uh another one come on there we go and <laughs> yeah this one looks a lot like an alligator gar for some reason um but yeah and those were on the walker so we were throwing a walker trying to uh catch whatever we could because in the past this is where we caught unique pyara so i was trying it again and it worked out for us we caught three i want to say and then after that point i was just struggling to catch another one and it was driving me mad and i will say this is where old kp shimino came in handy because when he was doing the mission he had one that he caught way over here which was kind of interesting and uh and that was with the major popper five aught now i will say this green major popper five aught this is going to test how many bait coins you want to spend on this mission because you don't have to use the green one the green one is the bait coin version i think it cost 43 bait coins to buy it but if you do do it if you do do it um you can come over here you can uh, get your popper out and you can cast out way off over there and i caught it on on this let's see right this day right here day five at 7 a.m i literally wait it's funny because in his video he showed it was 7 a.m and i thought ah that's probably nah, any time between six and eight or so like probably be fine no it was pretty much straight at 7 a.m i don't know why but uh it was just exactly where it was so yeah give it a try 7 a.m in this spot right here with the popper might work out for you remember walker over there and then um i'll show you right at the end of this island right here, we got our last unique Pyara, also with the Major Popper. Um, so give that a try as well, because you can see right here, I'm showing you. Caught it, and there we go. Completed the unique Pyara for the mission, which felt really good, everybody. And I know when you catch them all, you'll feel really good about it as well. Now, for the Biara, trophy unique Biara. Ah, should be easy, right? I mean, you can catch trophy or uniques, blah, blah, blah. So, we started out similar story right we started out fishing over here and i can show you right on the map where we are this is where the boat dock is and right over here next to this log unique by biara also looks like an alligator gar for some reason caught it on the uh the five aught walker uh similar to what we were using with the payara there um and we caught the unique biara there but as you can see we're really close to the dock down here and i fished all throughout here trying to figure out where they are we finally caught the one here and i think we might have caught another one Casting off over here, maybe. But that was short-lived. We tried this spot over and over and over again, I think. God, by the time we did our two live streams, we caught like three, maybe. And I was just, it was driving me insane. So that's when old KP Shimino came in handy again because I realized that right over here, next to this village here, you can take a bunch of float rods. Um, and I believe I equipped a bunch of uh, three-aught hooks on all of them and I think he was using two watts in his video but I decided to go with three watts because it kind of cut out a lot of those smaller fish basically all you're doing 
is setting up from the village here. You can see the dock over there. You set up your uh, rod stand right here, and then you just toss out all through all four of them or whatever you have, all of your uh, float match rods with your three odd hooks, titanium leaders, um, and toss them out with the shiners, and you should be good. I'm not sure if the titanium leaders are necessary, but the BR have really big teeth, and I did not want to chance it, so I just threw them on there and said forget about it. We'll just go with it and see what we catch. And sure enough, as you can see in the video, um, after enough days at Maku Maku, we finally caught the rest of the Biara we needed trophies. Um, and I tell you, all I was doing was fishing at this time of the day, this this exact time actually, you can see here at day four. I was fishing from 5 a.m. to like 7 a.m. in like the worst time to be fishing, but that's when they were biting. Um, so that was the wild thing. And I would fish then, I would catch one trophy Biara and I would literally, I would travel over to this boat dock. I would then travel back to the village and then I would run down here again and set it up just so I didn't have to reel in my rods and all, everything like that. And that was the easiest way to do it. Change the time to the next time that you uh, have this day, which would be a day six in this example, but whatever it is for you. Um, and then just do the exact same thing. Sit there for 15 minutes waiting for that trophy Biara to come up. You're going to catch a lot of fish in between. Sure enough. You should catch one every day, but I will say, now that I've said that, there were dry spells. I would catch one for like three days, and then I would come back here and try it again, and I would catch nothing. And I tried again, and I catch nothing. And then I'd have like three more days in a row where I would do the exact same thing. It was really frustrating, honestly. And I uh, and I tell you, when I first started this mission, I had 146 bait coins or something like that. And I'm down to 80. So I'm just saying, remember, 43 of that, I think, was for the uh, 5 aught green uh, popper. So you don't have to get that if you don't want to. It just, I mean, it was immediate. I've got the green popper and boom, boom, boom. Uh, caught caught the fish um, and was done with the pi R. So it really just depends on how annoyed you are with the pi R, or whether you want to get that green popper or not. But otherwise, the BR, find a good movie on Netflix or something like that and just sit out here and crank them out because it is it is an annoying one. I It's just how it is. But I hope this video was helpful for you, give you an idea of where to catch the pi R and the BR because once you're done, I mean, you have that fish tooth hook there. And hopefully, you're that much closer to catching the elusive Arapaima, everyone. But I hope this helps you out. And if it does, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're looking forward to seeing catching that elusive Arapaima this Halloween season during our Halloween extravaganza here at the BZ Hub, then uh, yeah, make sure you do all that. Otherwise, you just might miss it, everyone. If you want to check us out in our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. Love to have you. But until the next episode, everyone, stay spooky, stay safe, and as always... Remember everyone, we're one planet, one family, game on.